BookingTradeTheNBI.com. This is John's report is for the 24th of May. Well, we're starting off uh, the Monday in pre-market, uh, slightly higher after a uh, slight gap down uh, to open futures. We've been in this uh, crossover of magenta over yellow on the NBI readings down here, as well as the blue over the gray. Those are all buy configurations, but with uh, the white above this uh, 10 level tends to be a kind of softer period. And so while we see the negative aspects from this original breakdown, things kind of turned around. We've also seen uh, green move over uh, cyan here, uh, also relatively bullish, but we're still within the negative shakeout. So it's one of those where a dip of magenta and a rise of uh, the white MBI you know, above, and that's going to invert rather quickly. I mean, we'll see it on our intraday charts first, but uh, just an indication. It's just one of those where this can continue to rise like this uh, for some time. So it's not really an issue. It's just a matter of going with the uh, uh, how things are moving as long as that green stays above cyan, uh, it's still pretty strong. We're also breaking into uh, another range here of the negative 7.5. We're pretty close on the red uh, DOC. So that's as significant if it's able to move above that would build some momentum. And most of this is a result of the NASDAQ. Again, we talked about this. That 50% uh, was critical. Each time we broke below it, uh, we hit the 38% uh, market entry lines right here. And boom. Uh, brought us up. Now, with the rising lows uh, on the Morgan Action, we tend to see that as soon as any weakness develops, um, you're likely to get a drawdown uh, within that. And you can see the reason that uh, the NASDAQ has been so far behind, we've had this issue of the white uh, MBI readings moving above uh, magenta. And, uh, that does express some weakness uh, in general. Uh, the fact that uh, they've still been rising, both of them, uh, has been enough to maintain things where they are. But you have the same situation here where that uh, rising 0% keeps making the 50% number change just fractionally, but that becomes a significant, you know, below uh, the 13.3. You know that uh, there's going to be additional selling pressure uh, built into that. So. Worth, worth noting, uh, you know, it's anything critical at this particular stage. The Fed has been back in everything at this particular point. Uh, and because of that, you can see gold continues its uh, ascent, as well as the euro maintaining its elevated uh, nature, given the uh, intentions of the U.S. to continue to print money. Um, here we have the ratio hawk dots that are showing up. Uh, added a slightly new configuration that was... Uh, where you have uh, white MBI over magenta. Because what we find in, in even particular when the white MBI line remains over the 10 level, and particularly above magenta, you tend to have weakness, particularly if uh, you've dipped below the uh, 10 level uh, for your blue and that. So worth paying attention, you can see that uh, as we saw this intraday, when we first get the uh, break of white above, uh, the magenta in this particular case, and it starts to break down below that 33, uh, it sort of becomes that tail off point. That's where that little blue marker pops in right there. Um, and then you begin to see a trail off. And as long as that maintains itself, even when you get into uh, what we normally look at as our buy configurations on the bottom side of it, you can recognize that it's likely to be short lived uh, and then tend to fail early on that until you get that uh, magenta crossing back above. Um, in a strong way and then making a peak. Uh, but even still, when we see that uh, earlier configuration, 50% line usually becomes uh, that barrier, uh, and then often we get a retrace right back to the uh, close of uh, the original bar, which in this case happened to be the white candle. And that's exactly what happened. And this plays out over and over again uh, throughout most of uh, well, Friday, in fact. and. Uh, you can see that white pretty much maintaining above uh, the 10 level. Um, I usually think of uh, right around the 7.5 to 8 range uh, is pretty consistent uh, for uh, that general weakness that uh, remains in there. When you get uh, the dips going down into the zero, the longer it remains uh, below that uh, 8 range, uh, 
uh, you tend to have uh, moves up, particularly if you're in that uh, gap range here of the 25-33 for the uh, uh, magenta and yellow uh, that usually signifies long runs. So it's just worth noting so that you can uh, keep that uh, back of your mind in this particular case. You can see fairly decent uh, strength at this particular point, but uh, should break out to new highs even from this configuration unless there's a significant uh, rise in that white, but uh, it doesn't look set up. It looks more for uh, continuation to the upside. As always, though, I will continue to post uh, details on the Skype chat and get details on these uh, little special setups. Uh, and if I have the adjustments um, made to the paint bar on those, I will certainly send them out as well. As always, though, trade well. We'll talk to you later.